On the 15th of December 2021, me and two friends decided to start a Minecraft server, and later that day we joined the server to this beautiful spawn. As 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs update was recently released, we wanted to live in a magnificent valley between two massive mountains. So we made ourselves some boats and traveled across the ocean in search for a place to call home. And after a couple of minutes of rowing, we found this stunning cliffside, and we decided to continue by foot. And then we found it. Perfect home. A gorgeous valley between two marvelous mountains. We built ourselves three houses. A creep farm, an iron farm, and the start of a divine cathedral. And yeah, we built a dirt cube, or cuboid at least, which we dug the dirt for with iron spoons. I wanted to build a pyramid, so we cleared out a 139 by 139 block area from trees, which resulted in about 600 trees being cut down. Then we built the Grand Pyramid, which isn't complete yet, as we still have to decorate it with vegetation, leaves and custom trees. When the building was finished, we thought about digging a hole, so we started digging a hole. And now we have a hole which took a lot of time, like a stupid amount of time, like more than any other project so far. And here is our happy reaction when finishing it. 1, 2, 3. Oj, jag tycker det var fantastiskt. We still have a lot to do in the hole. We are going to add a fog effect in the bottom, a staircase along the walls, houses and a night sky in the ceiling. But at least we have a lot of building materials, which is going to come in handy. And now, for some small projects we made along the way. We went to the end, which turned out to be closer than expected. Killed the dragon 20 times to get all the gateways, and built an enderman farm, supplying us with a lot of XP and ender pearls. Later, we are going to transform end into a massive UFO. We built a food farm in the nether, giving us food for days. A small villager trading house was built, which is going to be expanded in the future and a stacking raid farm to go along with it, to supply us with crazy amounts of emeralds. And next to the pyramid we built a bee farm, providing us with bee wax. And now, for the future plans, we have to go to the Reindrob, meaning raindrop in Danish, where we have our maps. Here, in the center, we have Dalby, the industrial district, which we are going to expand. Then, as I said earlier, we are going to build a city in the hole in the pyramid, called Holsta. Here we are going to build Swampul, with mushroom houses and a wonky wizard tower. Down here we are going to build a trading district, with a massive trading hall focused on building blocks. South of Dalby we are going to build a village with inspiration from the Swedish province of Dalarna. And between these places there is going to be a tunnel and a mighty palace serving as the capital of the kingdom. In the bottom of the kingdom, we are going to build a city with inspiration of 19th century architecture, Hamnetuna. Then, we have a couple of places where we know that we want to build something, but aren't planned yet. And finally, we are going to build a wall, surrounding the entire kingdom. This is going to be a massive project, and it's going to take a lot of time. But with enough determination, it is going to get finished. We have already spent more than 600 hours in this world, but that is nothing compared to what it's going to be when this is complete. If you feel that this is an interesting project, be kind and leave a like, and perhaps subscribe. And if you feel extra charitable today, share it with your grandma and your cat, and we'll see you in the next video. Adieu, and have a nice day.